Uh, life, co- life, co- life coach, I have this weird rash. Don't worry about it. It's just the powder off those weird Dorito things they're selling these days that we're all going to go get after the show. Uh, give me a call right now, 1-800-252-1025. And we'll also take your emails at lifecoach at kzok.com. Uh, did you say who it was brought to you by? Oh, I did not. Thank you very much. That's brought to you uh, by Goldberg Jones. Divorce for men. Call 1-800-DIVORCE. I notice a lot of people... Um, they say, oh, I have a question for Danny, but I'm embarrassed to call. Right. Just lie about your name. Yeah, it's easy to do. Steve, Becky, whatever you want. Bartholomew's a good name. Bartholomew? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can we call him Bart for short? Bat, I think. Oh. That's Bat Masterson's real name. I see. Bartholomew. I have no idea who Bat Masterson is. You don't? I don't. Gunslinger. Oh. I still don't know who he is. Huh. <laughs> 800-252-1025 is the number to call right now for Danny Bonaducci Life Coach. Annie and Olympia, you're on with Danny. Hey, Annie, hey. what's up? Hey, I have a question for you about um, something that's really been bothering me. If I, so I've been with somebody for four years, and for two of those years, he's been in prison, and he has another year to go. And right. over the course of these last couple of years, I've worked really hard and, and gotten emotionally, mentally, and financially where I want to be. And now he's going to get out. But I know, is it cooler to, to wait till he, to leave him now or wait till he gets out? Uh, yeah, uh, what will that do? Because it really is all about you, Ann. It's that's that's all about you right now. What will give you the best rest, the best peace of mind if you go? You know what? And not what you should do about whether it's nicer. It doesn't matter if it's nicer. This is about you. He did something wrong. It's not your fault. He wasn't unjustly accused. He went to jail because that's where he belonged right now. And personally, you know, you're only a couple of years in, and the guy goes to prison. I think it was nice of you to wait this long. I would say, uh, you know, how's he going to take this? By the way. Well, he says it will kill him. <laughs> I'm sorry, know? say it again? He says it will kill him, but you know what that is. Oh, so you you broached this before. Sort of. Okay, you know, I have said, I was going to say, you know how many women I have said this to? Although it's actually fewer than I would thought. But I've said to at least one or two girls, if you leave me, I will die. And on the other hand, a bunch of girls just have said it to me and nobody died. Think one girl gave it a were, decent try, though. Think about when you were in rehab. If your wife had said to you, I'm leaving when you were in rehab, would it have impacted you? See, there's no way. way. Good question. No way for it to be good news. So I'm in rehab and she leaves me that bitch or I get out of rehab, go home clean and sober, and she leaves me. I go, I cleaned up for this? There's no good way to do this. Forget him on this. I know that sounds mean, and I, I bet it's really hard for you. You sound like a decent girl, but you need to do what is best for you. And what's best for you in the life coach's opinion is uh, clean the slate right now. Tell him goodbye. Uh, don't give him time to, you know, he's going to complain. I like that he complained and didn't say, I'll kill you. He said he'll die, which he won't. You've, you're in love or you stayed around for a convict. It's time to go. The, the answer here is go, and I appreciate it. Oh. Yeah, sorry. If you've got a question for the life coach, you should be calling right now, 800 252 1025. You can email lifecoach at kzok.com. And as we said, you can lie about your name. You can change your name. You could be Becky. You can Steve. You could be a ref. You could be a duck. Mm, you could be a ref that thinks he's a duck. 800 252 1025. We've got an email here from Kate in Burien. She writes I'm engaged to a guy who was married for 10 years to a woman I fear I don't measure up to. She was prettier, more successful, more athletic, and more organized than I am. They have a child together, so he has to see her pretty regularly. He told me they just fell out of love. But when I talk about my insecurities regarding her, he shrugs it off with, I'm with you, not her. He's right. Well, it doesn't seem to help. Can you help me feel better about this comparison? You know, he, you you can, but it's your comparison. I, I will tell you this from vast experiences. You know, when we solicit the life coach, we tell you guys to call up. One of the things we do uh, is we say, Danny's been through all of it. And the fact of the matter is, you know, I, I, I'm the oldest guy in this room. I've had the weirdest life of anybody in this room by leaps and bounds. I'm the great guy to be either. Yeah, I'm, I'm the right guy to be the life coach. And I will tell you this, as a matter of fact. He just fell out in love with her. And that's the worst. You know, when they're, uh, the opposite of love is not hate. Hate is feelings. Feelings are, are a big thing. If some, if that, if the other one says how much he hates her, then you might have some problems. Here's what happened, and, and you're lucky. He fell out of love with her. There's nothing left. And by the way, I think you're being really hard on yourself about who's prettier and who's smarter and who does this and stuff like that. But you know what? Any girl, any person is going to absolutely do this. But if it'll help you have some peace of mind... He's telling you the truth. After a decade, he just fell out of love. You know, some people think it's a great thing. You go home and you go, hey, what's up? 
That's the way I talk to him, like my best friend. Hey, what's up? But some people think when you get to the hey, what's up stage that your their relationship is dead. I happen to disagree vehemently, but he really doesn't have feelings for this woman. He's telling you the truth. You should measure him a lot of other times, but on this one, he's definitely telling you the truth. You have no big problem on this place. 800-252-1025. Call that number now if you've got a problem that you need help with. Danny Bonaducci can help you, so make the call or write the email to lifecoach at kzok.com. Lindsay in Seattle writes... I met a guy who is great in every other way, but I can't get over how vulgar he is. He swears. He likes to tell crude jokes. And while I don't think he's homophobic, he seems to think mocking homosexuality is the height of humor. He manages Are to- you dating a 15-year-old? Because that's, you know, I'm through all this, I'm kind of going, all right, I guess I do that. I'm vulgar. I'm sorry. I'm this guy because Amy even says stuff, cleaned up. But then that stuff, that's really high school stuff that he's doing. Yeah. He manages to keep his vulgarity under wraps around my family, but otherwise, I find this aspect of his behavior very off-putting. Is it too much to expect he might change his behavior if I feel it's getting in the way of a potential long-term relationship? No, because here's the deal on this. What is this young lady's name? Lindsay. Lindsay, it is going to get in the way of a long-term relationship, and you're smart to have caught it now. A lot of people would not, like, things seem to be going swimmingly. You guys don't fight. You're not worried about another woman. He's not worried about another man. Nobody's drinking too much. No drugs. The big thing is here, he, he talks a little bit. You might think you're in a great relationship. You're not. If this is bugging you, that's all it is. What's that? He's trying to burr under the saddle, something like that. That's what it is. And eventually, you know, it's like a small tooth, uh, it's toothache. And you think, I'll put it off. I'll put it off. I'll put it off. And the next thing you know it's a big big deal don't let this get to be a very big deal you got to nip this in the bud right now and by the way here's how to tell if he's truly vulgar tell me when to nip it in the bud and see if he can make a dirty joke out of nipping bud any dirt, he, he will. I'm telling you right now because he's he's 15 years old and that's what he's going to get. No, you need to put a stop to this right now. 800-252-1025 is the number for Life Coach or email lifecoach at kzok.com. Mark in Tacoma writes, I'm 25. I lost my job a year ago and had to move back with my parents. My dad is an alcoholic and my mother is in denial. I want to move out, but my mom wants me to stay. And I think it's mostly because she wants to, me to help her deal with dad. I feel like I'm being asked to put my life on hold to help a lush, but I don't want to abandon my mother in this situation. What do you think I should do? I think you should do what you can for your dad on the Yankees, but I don't think your mom's asking you to help the lush. She's asking you to help her. So I would suggest that, that you do it. But, you know, at uh, I believe you're 25 years old. You don't need to put your life on hold. Life starts right now. And every day that you miss, and, uh, you know, I'm just being in a general area right now, but I'll go with 25. Every day you, you, you miss up to 25 is expendable. Every day you miss after 25, you'll never get back. So i got to do what's right for you right now. What's right for you might be saying, all right. I'll, I'll do this a couple more. I'll do this a couple more years. Mom, I'll help you out with the lush. Or you might say, I have to go right now. But really, these decisions you make at 25 are important. And they probably your decisions probably have not been important up until now, even though they felt like it. But everything you do after today, super important. And, and you make the right decision here. Hey, thank you so much for the emails, ladies and gentlemen. And that is all the time we have for Danny Bonaducci, Life Coach. By the way, Life Coach brought to you by Goldberg Jones, Divorce for Men. Call 1-800-DIVORCE. <laughs>